Syria says Israeli forces have launched simultaneous missile attacks on the airports in its uh, capital of Damascus and the northern city of Aleppo, damaging the runways and putting both hubs out of service. A Syrian military source cited by the country's state news agency says bursts of missiles hit the two airports at the same time in what he says was a bid to distract the world's attention from Israel's war with Hamas in Gaza. Earlier today, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Tel Aviv as part of a Middle East tour to show Washington's solidarity with Israel and to work to prevent the conflict from widening. Sarah Coates says CBC News correspondent in Tel Aviv spoke to us a little early on. Preparations are really stepping up ahead of what is expected to be an imminent uh, ground operation into Gaza. There are tens of thousands of Israeli troops stationed on the Gaza border, almost 400,000 reservists called up. That is the biggest number in Israeli history. Look, at the same time, there have reportedly been a number of infiltration attempts from Gaza into Israel. This is via the land border and also via the sea. The IDF says these incursions are, have been thwarted. Uh, we are also hearing there, uh, we know that a number of rockets were launched from the Gaza Strip. Uh, that's been happening throughout the day. Most of these rockets have hit uh, in that Gaza envelope, a town called Sterot, which is right on the border there. We do know that four people have been injured. They're being treated now uh, by many Medical teams with a, a number of other homes damaged in that region. Now, you did mention that Anthony Blinken is on the ground. He's here for a number of reasons. Firstly, to show the US's support to Israel during this growing conflict. Secondly, to try and prevent this war from spreading. He'll be traveling to Jordan tomorrow to meet the king there and also to meet Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. They'll be all meeting tomorrow there in Amman. And also thirdly, this is a really a, a fragile situation regarding these hostages. Already we know that Israel has contacted almost 100 families telling them that they have a loved one being held in Gaza by Hamas. So Blinken will certainly be trying to find a way to ensure uh, the safe return of these hostages. Uh, also with regards to that, uh, this blockade on Gaza that Israel imposed a number of days ago, it still stands and Israel says that there will be no water, no food, no, no electricity and no petrol until these hostages are returned safely. Well, look, there have been growing calls, many calls from humanitarian groups to open a humanitarian corridor from Gaza into Egypt to allow critical medical supplies, food, water, as you mentioned, etc., uh, to get into the coastal enclave there, which, as we know, is uh, home to more than two million people and is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. So far, uh, Egypt says, no, that will not happen. So does Israel. As I said, Israel says no aid will be going into Gaza until these hostages are returned. Really, uh, the priority right now for Israel is to get these hostages back. We need to remember that they are also civilians who were kidnapped by a terror group. So uh, this is really the main priority here. We do know that uh, America, the US, does have a team on the ground which is helping to assist Israeli authorities with negotiations. The Red Cross came out again today to say it tried to facilitate uh, something with Hamas to potentially have humanitarian visits with these people uh, or to just let their families know that they are okay. But that has not happened either.